Hi guys, Terry Petrovic here, and today we're going to talk about the differences between an entrepreneur and a business opportunity seeker. Which are you? What's the difference? You know, so many people ask me questions, you know, about uh, not having the success they want or having challenges, and the biggest difference is an entrepreneur is somebody who has commitment, who has a rock solid vision. An opportunity seeker is somebody who is looking to make a fast buck. A lot of times I've found that, you know, uh, people, because they got a job originally and they have no experience in having their own business, uh, they get started in a home-based business for this reason, the money. They're looking to make a, a quick buck. And what I want you to know, think about you and where you have come from, is that a business opportunity seeker will never become successful. A business opportunity seeker expects things to happen. Maybe sometimes they think like it's a lottery. If they find one or two good people, boom, they're going to be wealthy, they're going to be rich, and, and they're into money. Well, i got to tell you, that's not reality. A business opportunity seeker is going to hope it is going to work. It's going to hope they're going to be successful. But you know what? An entrepreneur, they are going to make it happen. They are going to do whatever it takes to become successful in their business venture. Entrepreneurs are influencers. They're people with passion. They're people with purpose. Uh, they develop themselves. They work on themselves. They understand that success in life is a journey. It's a process. They read books. They hang out with successful people. They study. They practice. And then they teach. They also seek out help when they're stuck. You know, we all have our own challenges, whatever they might be. But, you know, do we get stuck and do we whine and complain or do we seek a solution? And that's the real difference. Uh, an entrepreneur is going to seek out solution. They're going to study successful people. They might even hire a coach. And maybe you've gotten to a certain level in your business where uh, you've had some success and then you've leveled off. I know that well, that's what happened to me. You know, I had reached $5,000 worth of income and for whatever reason, I just couldn't break through that $5,000 a month uh, ceiling, if you will. What did I do? I actually hired a coach. I paid her like $400 a month. And it's funny because my wife Amy told me, said, you know, I've been telling you the same thing that Sonia has been telling you, my coach, for a long time. But you know what? I couldn't hear it from my wife. And maybe you can't hear it from your spouse or maybe you can't hear it from your upline. But here's what I will tell you is that if you are an entrepreneur or you want to have an entrepreneurial mindset, you got to find a way to make things happen. You have to understand that this is a real business. And I want you to think about your presentations. When you're talking to your prospects, do you talk about this being a real business, a multi-million dollar business that they can get started, you know, for you know like 500 bucks or a thousand dollars, whatever your your startup package is? You know, imagine, you know, it almost sounds too good to be true that you could create a multi-million dollar business for only a $500 startup or a $1,000 startup or $1,500 startup. You know, Entrepreneur Magazine says that the average business cost uh, in North America is around $84,000. So here we're talking about $1,000 or $2,000 to create a multi-million dollar business. It kind of doesn't jive for most people, but you know what, it's very true. And that's what I love about the network marketing industry. So I want you to tell people that, you know, really the sky is the limit in terms of what they can create. But this is a business where we actually build teams of people who go out and build teams of people. That's what an entrepreneur is going to do. And will there be challenges? Yeah, there are going to be challenges. Will you lack some skill sets? Absolutely. You know, but the difference between an entrepreneur and a business opportunity is an entrepreneur or a business person is going to go find those skills, develop those skills. They're going to study. They're going to be up to midnight. They're going to get the books. They're going to get the CDs. They're going to get the webinars. They're going to do whatever it takes to have the skill sets so they can create the success and the future they want for their family. An entrepreneur is always learning. My question is, are you? What's your process? Are you always learning or are you just hoping it's going to happen? Are you wanting your team to do it for you? Do you get frustrated with your team? Because here's something you need to think about. The speed of the leader, you, is the speed of the pack. In other words, you have to be the example, you have to be the model for success in your business and in your team. An entrepreneur is always looking for a way to be more efficient. I'll tell you something I learned a long time ago. Uh, to create independence in this business, I never do for my team what I believe they can do for themselves. See, a uh, business opportunity seeker is always going to want people to do things for them. Create a website, do some graphics for them, 
call this person for them, do this presentation for them. I don't mind helping my people at all. In fact, I love training and coaching and mentoring people. But there comes a point when I expect that up and coming leader, if they, that's really what they say they want to be. And I'm going to ask them this very important question. Are you serious and you committed about creating the success that you want? Whatever their why is, maybe rebuilding their retirement or maybe saving for a college education. Because if you are, then you need to start showing up a little bit differently. You need to participate actively in doing presentations. And if you're not talking to three to five new people every single week, let me tell you, you're probably kidding yourself. You're never going to become successful in this business. You always have to be doing prospecting, presenting, and following up. And in a later uh, video, I'll talk a little bit more about online marketing versus offline marketing. I'll talk about posture and what you need to do in that process. But here's what I want you to know, is that an entrepreneur is in love with the process of building, not necessarily a business, but a fortune. Imagine that for a second. You get to build a fortune. You get to be in control. And you might be working part-time on that fortune and full-time on your job, but that's okay because now you have passion about showing people and coaching people about your products, your business, and how basically they can create a whole new lifestyle for themselves. A business opportunity is going to self-sabotage themselves. You know why? Because they're not going to have a full commitment. They're in it for the money. They're going to see the next best thing and they're going to go after that best opportunity out there because it pays a little bit more commission or the product seems to be all whiz bang fancy and there's this system that's going to do all the work for them and they never have to talk to anybody. Well, the truth is, folks, this is a business of relationships and I don't care what business you're in, you're going to have to talk to people and it's your ability to coach, mentor and work with people that's going to help you become successful. And you know what? A lot of times the number one person we need to work with is ourselves. You know, we all have our own baggage. We, we have, all have our own stuff and we have to look at ourselves and we need to look at our strengths and our weakness and we need to evolve ourselves. And you know what? That takes a, uh, a while and that's a process. I, I tell people all the time, you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable because it's that discomfort is where the growth occurs. So if you really want to grow, if you really want to become an entrepreneur, if you want to have a six or seven figure income, and if you want to have the lifestyle that this business and this industry can create for yourself, you need to work on you. You need to take responsibility. A business opportunity never takes responsibility. They always blame the company, the products, uh, customer service. They're always making excuses. An entrepreneur takes responsibility. They take responsibility for their shortcomings, their mistakes, they take responsibility for the mistakes of the company. Now, a lot of times we can't help it, we can't control it, but we just do the best that we can. And in this process of growth and work on yourself, I want you to do one thing. I want you to celebrate your successes and I want you to think about all the little things that you've done successfully because that's the joy in the journey. And take time to, to recharge your battery, go to your company events, uh, take time to just smell the roses, smell the flowers, you know, do things that are fun. And if you're not having fun, you might be in the wrong business. I want you to understand that an entrepreneur, somebody who is serious uh, about developing a business, is serious about developing them. They're going to become stronger. They're going to hang out with the right people that lift them up, not bring them down. You need to always be raising a bar for yourself. And remember this, never, 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 never quit on your dreams and your goals. And I promise you this, you will become successful as an entrepreneur. And one day, you will create the financial freedom that you want. The blessings of this business are not the money. The blessings of this business are all the people that you get to help and all the friends that you get to make. I hope this has helped you today. I'll talk to you real soon on the next video. My name is Terry Petrovic. Live with passion. Take care. Bye-bye now.